Howdy. It's Tubal Cain again after a brief absence. Uh, I thought I'd present to several little lessons here on my home foundry and how to make a mold, but this first lesson will be uh, dedicated more or less to the equipment and the materials that we use to make a mold. This is my homemade molding bench and it's filled with sand and you can see you can shovel the sand out of the bottom and you make your mold up in the top and anything that spills falls down to the bottom and the type of sand that I'm using is a oil based molding sand and it consists of a silica sand along with a binder called Petrobon and oil. Now the oil burns out for, so from time to time you have to refresh it or renew it or recondition it in a machine that we call the muller and this is my little mighty mite muller. It's a bit small, I think it only handles 40 or 50 pounds at a time but yet it uh, does a good job and I'm going to take a break here and then take the thing apart to show you the workings on the inside. As you can see the motor and the switches up on the top we can load the sand into this little hopper here while it's running and then there's a handle here and it's kind of a drop bottom uh, so the sand pours out the bottom and I can shovel it right out of there and into the flask and the brand name on this is Mini Mite. Okay, I've taken the working part off and as you can see the, the empty barrel here is nothing more than a uh, container and there's nothing really to that. All the working part is here on the ground and here's the bottom side that you couldn't see before and it consists of a blade, a couple blades actually, and it rotates like this in a circle so that it's constantly scraping the sand off the bottom and the sides of the barrel and the wheel here does the actual mulling and what it does is it squeezes each and every grain of sand and it kneads it and that's what uh, reconditions it and gets rid of the burnt sand and adds the oil back to the sand. Again, this is sand. I know it looks like dirt or soil, but it's not. It was white silica sand to start with before it was mixed with its other components. When it's brand new from the supplier, it'll be orange in color, but it'll quickly turn black or brown like this as the oil chars. Now after each use it's going to get be clumpy like this and it's not going to stick together very well anymore so it has to be reconditioned so that's when we put it in the hopper of the muller. Put about 40 or 50 pounds at a time and then I'm just using some 30 weight motor oil non-detergent and you only need a couple of uh, teaspoons each on each batch. Not too much. It's not good to have too much oil in there. I'm just guessing on the amount from experience. And then turn it on. And after it runs for not very long, perhaps uh, three, four, five minutes, if you run it too long, it actually gets hot from the friction. But at that point, we can dump it up the bottom. And then the sand is going to pack and will have the right temper so that it will uh, not flake apart but it should break something like maybe a snowball would break. I'm going to pack it much harder when I do the actual mold for the casting. Now some of the other equipment that you'll be using are the molding board. It can just be a piece of plywood or a particle board. And we have these slats here that can be moved various positions so that all the extra sand, loose sand, will fall back down in. This is the flask. Now the top part is called the cope and the bottom is the drag and I've got them painted so they will match the colors. This is the riddle or the sieve that we use to sift the sand each time we use it. We got a bellows that can be used to blow out the loose sand. The rammer is used to ram the sand or pack the sand in the mold. Here's a strike off bar used to strike off or screed the excess sand. 
we have various spoons that we use. Sprue cutters that are used to cut the sprue hole into the mold and that's where we pour the molten metal. These are tapered ones and there's also uh, straight ones. I prefer the tapered. Also the parting sand which is a very fine sand that keeps the, the boundary sand from sticking to the pattern and it keeps the two halves of the mold from sticking together. That takes care of most of the common uh, pieces of equipment that we use. In the next episode I will show you how to ram up a simple mold. So long for now. This is Tubal Cain. Be sure and watch some of my other videos as well.